It's the B, part three. We bead once, the 2013. We had two single vineyard wines from the 2013 vintage from Velvet B. Those both sold out instantly. We had a 2016 single vineyard bottling from Velvet B. That sold out instantly. And um, thank you, Phil Kaplan. Uh, here's the B round three. He, he managed to dig up uh, half a pallet of 2014 Santa Rita Hills Pinot Noir from his, uh, from his stash, his temperature controlled stash. We know where the wine's stored. It's 55 degrees, pristine, perfect. The bottles are perfect. Everything's gorgeous about this stuff. Um, for those of you who may not remember the previous B offerings, uh, Velvet B was started by uh, Phil Kaplan in 2012 and his wife Colette. And um, Phil learned his chops from kind of old masters stylings. He was a huge Burgundy fan. And accordingly, he went after uh, Joe Davis from Arcadian, who was a real, uh, a real inspiration to him, and as well as Chris Thatcher. And the deal with Joe is Joe makes wines built for the long haul. Uh, Joe, if you go on his website, the Arcadian wines, he's always listing wines that are 10, 12, 15 years old, quite commonplace. He makes wines that have the capability of aging, like classic old style Burgundy wines. And uh, Phil took this to heart when he started his project. Now, of course, to make wines like that, to age, you need cool climate vineyards. You need, you need cool sites. You need a real Burgundian mojo, and he found that in the Santa Rita Hills. So usually he was working mostly with uh, uh, Bent Rock and La Encantada. Those were the single vineyard in incarnations that we saw before. In 2014, he didn't get enough fruit. It was a low yielding vintage. He didn't get enough fruit from any one uh, a particular site to produce the single vineyard wines, I believe. So he produced a blended Santa Rita Hills Pinot Noir from Bent Rock, La Encantada, and Rancho Lavinia. So three rock star single vineyard Santa Rita Hill sites found their way into this bottling. All those sites now um, are producing wines that are $100 a bottle and uh, with good reason. As time has passed, um, uh, Phil, the prognosticator, the Nostradamus, if you will, uh, knew that these sites were gonna be special. They were already kind of special, but time has borne out that they're even more special than maybe we had previously anticipated. So here it is, a 2014 Velvet Bee Santa Rita Hills Pinot Noir. Four different clones here. Kind of an early pick, but the alcohol's 14. You know, uh, when you're dealing with the Santa Rita Hills, you can do, you can get extended hang time. They don't have the disease pressure that some other super cool climate areas have closer to harvest time. They have their own issues, be it wind or uh, Pierce's disease or what have you, but you know, uh, extensive disease pressure uh, at harvest time isn't necessarily one of them. So you can really extend the harvest, even though it's like what we call a region one or super cool area. You can kind of go out and get the grapes almost whenever you want most years. And it gives you the luxury of producing wines with fabulous low pH, wonderful acidity, great tannin structure, but with, with a modicum of richness to it. And that's what we get here out of the 2014. Mm, bottle just cracked. It actually has, it's gonna take a few four minute, more minutes to go vertical, but already you get, you get the frame and that sweet cherry fading the cranberry type fruit component of classic cool climate Pinot Noir. A spice character that would almost have me thinking like Russian River, but not the rhubarb and that kind of stuff. So, boy, this is good. It's lingering, it's tangy. It has a wonderful tangy cherry to cranberry character to it that I love in classic cool climate Pinot Noir. I mean, in short, I mean, Phil kind of nailed it uh, with this one too. And the fact that he's kind of stashed it for us all these years, um, temperature controlled in perfect condition to re-release now, um, almost 10 years after harvest, w what a treat. What an absolute treat. Um, originally $45 on his site. We are running this at shh, 20 bucks a bottle. What a wine for 20 bones. This should be an immediate sellout, just like the two 2013s that we had were uh, really special, gorgeous, Burgundy, Burgund, Burgundy inspired Pinot Noir from Velvet B. The B part three, will there be a B part four? Stay tuned.